I'm going to make today uh, zucchini wheels with ricotta cheese and crab meat and that's the size zucchini it's going to be. This will be for an appetizer, two pieces per person. I'm going to start off just with these few things here and what we're going to do. So everything has been measured. You have smoked paprika, green pepper, gar fresh garlic, not that chopped garlic and that crap oil. Fresh thyme, fresh oregano, celery, small dice, onion, black pepper, and you can see the sea salt, the color of it. This is a nice sea salt. Notice that it's not white. So it hasn't been refined as much and I feel that's better for you. We're going to saute that in either butter or olive oil and I'm using, because today I'm cheap, you do not have to use the uh, claw meat. But you know what? It tastes like crab meat because it is crab meat. And uh, other times I will use the lump. But I wasn't in the mood to spend 18 or $20 on the fresh lump. And this was only, I think, seven and change. So very simple. I don't like using butter too much, but for this, I'm going to use butter. First thing is to saute the vegetables. As soon as they get sauteed a little bit, then we will add the crab meat. We're not looking for color on the vegetables. We're just looking to cook them a little bit, get the full flavor out. And the butter is definitely for flavor. So that's just one tablespoon of butter. I know butter is so good. If you're cooking with cream and butter, well, this recipe is going to have cream in it also. And it's going to have fresh tomatoes, the ricotta cheese. This is going to be nice. And the presentation will be there also. So just a few minutes of sauteing this and I'm going to make this video as short as possible so it's not boring. Everyone has done this before. I shouldn't say everyone, but you've sauteed before hopefully. There's the sea salt, the smoked paprika, and the table grind black pepper. I like the flavor of that more than the other one. So after this cooks up for a few minutes, I'm going to throw in the brandy and then the crab meat and then take this off the fire and then we'll continue. But meanwhile, that's the end of watching this. This will take about five minutes. Oh, well, that's cooking nice and easy, almost ready. I put the panko breadcrumbs. Don't use regular breadcrumbs. The present, the, the, the appeal, the eye appeal is just not there. And to this, you can add either melted butter or olive oil. Well, I already used butter here. So I'm not going to, I have to eat this, and I'm not going to put butter again. And all we have to do is just moisten the breadcrumbs like so. And this, when it goes on top, will get a more even color than if you just put plain Panko breadcrumbs. And there's going to be little Parmesan cheese thrown on top. I mean, thrown under this. So that takes care of the Panko problem. 
and this that's ready we don't need to cook it real soft at least I don't I like it a little al dente nice chew and everything put the And that's how you do the brandy. Don't worry, you won't burn down the house. Now we'll put in the crab meat. Now you're going to have leftover on this. And that's just fine. You know why? Because you will make up a little pasta. <coughs> we'll cook up some rice. And put it to this. We're going to add a little heavy cream, which I should have had out and measured, but I didn't. So two of these will be quarter of a cup. This is an eighth of a cup measure. And that should do it. So that the, the program here is this is cooked and ready. Have to make sure the crab meat is hot. This is going to go over the seasoned zucchini wheel and on top of this is going the ricotta cheese with some finely minced up basil in it and an egg to keep it from moving and uh, that's about it and we have a 450 degree oven ready to take the zucchini so it's really not that complicated. We'll give this a taste. That is like perfect. I hate to tell you that. I mean, I'm happy to tell you that. Sure, the butter, the cream, the vegetables, the garlic, the cognac. And then we're going to have a little sauce, which will be heavy cream and cognac to put on the plate. There, we're done. Now, take this. Put it on a plate. Can make this the day before with no problem. And actually, that doesn't smell any better or worse than if it was panko breadcrumbs. I mean, uh, lump crab meat. So take this, just the way it is, put it in the refrigerator, and then we'll start on the next step. The next thing to do is to make the mix of the ricotta cheese, ricotta. So we have the ricotta. I'm not putting salt in there because the ricotta has in it. I'm not putting pepper either because I'm I'm just not in the mood, but you can. And we put the fresh basil. A little lemon juice. Just mix this up good. And that finishes the setup of the ricotta cheese, ricotta cheese. And this will not move off of the zucchini because of the egg yolk. All done. Set that aside. The next thing, let me get it, so we'll just cut this for a minute. Now let's get the zucchini done. Sea salt, a little bit. Everything has to be seasoned, not just the crab meat. And a little pepper. A 
And then tomato always goes with basil, etc., etc. Put a slice there, 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 and there. See how perfectly that fits? That's nice. So that's why you need a nice fat zucchini. And then on top of this, we'll put the crab meat, season the tomato a little bit. Thank you. Now I do have enough here to make even more. So what I'll do is, I'll just put on the recipe how much it's gonna make. But I'm not in the mood. I can tell you right now that the crab meat itself is going to make a minimum of eight of these. So that means you have four people over for dinner That'll be plenty. How's that? Good amount. Don't be cheap on this guy here. Okay, and as you see, this is what's left over. So this recipe is gonna be for eight, but I'm make, making four. Now, on top of this, we will put the ricotta cheese. Now the ricotta cheese, you'll have to double. You know what? The recipe will be correct in the description for how much this makes. This much left, which is just about enough for about three more. Actually, it could be enough for uh, just add another ounce to the mix. Yeah, no problem. Okay, now we're going to put on this. You can put your favorite cheese. I don't care what it is. It could be shredded, yellow, anything. So this is. Little Romano cheese, grated. Sticks well to that. And I guess this will be about a quarter of a cup. It's going to look nice when it's done because the sides aren't covered 100%, so you're going to see what's there, which is always good. And then we have our finished panko breadcrumbs. I had the panko breadcrumbs sitting at the back of the stove, and of course you know what happens back there, everything gets hot. So, the handle was hot. This should get a nice toasty brown color. We don't want to lose it, so we'll just go like so. And we'll double up on the panko on my recipe. Because this is just about enough to do the four. So I was at least, at least I was correct on my uh, guessing on how much panko I'm going to use. Don't forget, I've never made this before, but I go, look at that zucchini, what can I do with it? And this is what I'm doing with it. That oven has been hot now for a half hour, so once again, going to guess that this is going to take less than 15 minutes. So I'm going to put it in now. 
Now we're going about making this very simple sauce. Nothing really involved except a little cognac, which we have to ignite. Or flambe. Heavy cream. And let that reduce. And to that. going to add one tablespoon And the zucchini is in the oven now, so this is going to reduce. I don't want to waste time watching this reduce, so I'll just shut this off. And when it gets down to about it'll reduce to 50%, I'll turn the camera on again. Now, in two minutes, the zucchini's done. To show you how much to reduce the sauce, this has been reducing for about a good 10 minutes. That is fine because you don't want anything thick, thick, thick on the plate because it's going to sit there for a few minutes. And I will be making one plate up in about I got a minute and a half just about ready now into the sauce another tablespoon of minced up basil because we need color on the plate you don't want to just put plain white and here we go with the zucchini. Shut the oven off. Let's get over here and look. Uh, they're pretty. They are pretty. So what do we do with the plate? Take that zucchini. Remember I said two of these is an appetizer? Actually one of them is an appetizer. So you put one on a plate, like so, and then you kick the camera, and then you very nicely just go around the zucchini with the sauce and not on the top because you want to show the beautiful topping that's on there. How's that? That's a nice appetizer. Why am I shaking? I'm going to cut this one in half. Actually one of those because they're easier to get to. I need a fork. because I like the way this looks. And that cooked nicely. And I'm gonna let you know if this is really enough for an appetizer. 
one piece absolutely take this I gotta wait a few minutes anyway I'll let you I'll wait we'll film me eating it so I can give you the okay See, I don't like hot food too much. I like it just where I can gobble it down fast. So let me taste this now. Mm. Mm hmm. Good. I like it. I hope you do. <laughs> I'm going to let you know if this is really. Enough for an appetizer. One piece, absolutely. Take this. I gotta wait a few minutes. Anyway, I'll let you, I'll wait, we'll film me eating it so I can give you the okay. See, I don't like hot food too much. I like it just where I can gobble it down fast. So let me taste this now. Mm-hmm. Good. I like it. I hope you do.